Transport phenomena in biosystem module 6, equation of change for isothermal systems part 2. Segment 1, equations of change in terms of substantial derivative. With me, Yusuf from Bioengineering Study Program, School of Life Sciences and Technology, Institute Technology Bandung. In this module, we will discuss about equation of change in terms of substantial derivative application of equations of change and dimensional analysis of equation of change. In this segment, we will discuss several time derivatives that may be encountered in transport phenomena. We illustrate this by considering the observation of the concentration of fish in the Chikapundung River. Because fish swim around, the fish concentration will in general be a function of position x, y, z, and time t. The partial time derivative. Suppose an observer stand on a bridge and observe the concentration of fish just below the bridge as a function of time. We can then record the time rate of change of the fish concentration at a fixed location. The result is partial derivative of c with respect to t, a constant x, y, and z. Total time derivative. Let's consider that the observer rides a motorboat and speeds around the river, sometimes going upstream, sometimes downstream, and sometimes across the current. All the time, the observer is observing fish concentration. At an instant, the time rate of change of the observed fish concentration is given by equation 6 1, in which dx per dt, dy per dt, and dz per dt are the components of the velocity of the boat. Substantial time derivative. Let's consider that the observer rides a canoe and just floats along with the current, observing fish concentration. In this situation, the velocity of the observer is the same as the velocity v of the stream, which has components vx, vy, and vz. At any instant, the time rate of change of fish concentration can be expressed by equation 6, 2. The special operator d per dt is called the substantial derivative, which means that the time rate of change is reported as one moves with the substance. Now, we need to know how to convert dou per dou t into d per dt. For any scalar function fx, y, z, t, the equation can be expressed by equation 6, 3. According to the equation of continuity, the quantity in the second parenthesis in the second line is 0. Consequently, equation 6, 3 can be written in vector form as shown in equation 6, 4 and equation 6, 5. These equations can be used to rewrite the equation of change given in terms of the substantial derivative. For the next segment, we will discuss about the equation of change to solve flow problems. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.